He just came in with a blanket, let's fire 80% of the people and rebuild this thing in my image. Talk about funny engineering, going to the engineering part of the equation. Did you guys see what happened with uh, wh wh why uh, Tesla popped again today? Did you hear about that? No, I haven't seen that yet. So I, I just want to point out that I knew something beforehand, and I never knew how to monetize it. I was always kind of confu confused, never really understood it. But like Tesla came out with the first more or less commercial electric car, right? You know, forget about subsidies and sure. this, that, and the other thing. Let's talk. They, they, they had right. full production. They've got like, these charging stations in different places. Why wouldn't everyone have already had a standard dongle to plug into every electric car so that all of these electric outlets would be the same driving on the road? So today, Ford, I think GM, Ford and GM, yeah. just came out and said that by a certain period of time in the near future, all of ours are going to match the Tesla one, which... Obviously, now Tesla gets some licensing revenue and the, the stock popped. I would like to point out that um, for all the people that hate him so much, uh, I would like to point out that in the past several months that the stock has uh, recovered a lot of losses, he's effectively made back the entire purchase price of Tesla and his net worth. I mean, Twitter? Uh, of Twitter and his net worth. Well, that's good because he lost about $30 billion on Twitter. He lost a bunch. He, <laughs> lost, he lost a bunch. But did he lose it yet? I mean, he could probably still sell it. No, I actually out, think yeah. it's moving forward. It's slower growth, certainly. Yeah. yeah. Someone no, brought this up the other day. Yeah, here's the thing it's a different population of people. Like, you guys don't probably, this isn't a big deal to almost anybody else, but they bought Lasky. People are like, what is Lasky? So it's a job platform that verifies people. Mm -hmm. It's basically a verifies assessment. What's interesting is the people who ran Lasky also were involved in something called interviewer or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's verification. Mm -hmm. Why did they do that Twitter blue mark? Why is it eight bucks or nine bucks, or whatever, 11 bucks, what it is now? Mm -hmm. It's because, as he actually said, there's too many bots. There's no way to verify something. Mm -hmm. When we look at popping into the TA world, uh, LinkedIn, SeekOut, ATS, you know, people who have been around, we have a database of old names. The thing that they are valuable for is I can spin up 5,000 profiles tomorrow that are fake. Just push up a button, bot, 5,000 profiles. And then you have to fight those. If you've been around for 12 years before that was possible, it's that old thing that we looked at for the BEV score. If you build up reputation over time, which mm -hmm. goes right back to black blockchain and verification. Right. So he's purchased a company's point is verification. Mm -hmm. So when you think about career builder and, and Indeed and all these other places, like I'm going to put my resume out and recreate myself. The GDPR in, uh, in Europe says you have to get rid of everybody's information every mm -hmm. six months. This is very important because it means that you, this is why they're big on AI, because they, they don't want people creating much of fraud. What's fascinating about that is if Twitter has a paid verification, that's one layer. Mm -hmm. There's the use, there's how you're tying it in, there's the biometric scans, there's the, eventually the micropayments. Mm -hmm. Twitter becomes a job board because they're valuable, verified people. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's, that's verification. LinkedIn is now verifying things in ways they never did before. They very well could go to a paid version. Facebook, it, whatever it ends up doing, paying is one form of verification that prevents fraud. <laughs> It's not, it's, you know, you can still make it, but... So, but, but how, what, here's my question. How much do they pay for that uh, reputation verification company, you know? Not much. It was, I think, a couple million or something like that. It wasn't, but an you know they, higher. Do you know how many they've bought in the past? How many job companies Twitter's bought? How many verification reputation companies Twitter's bought in the past? I have no clue. At least Lasky, L-A-S-K-I-E. Here's the thing. At, at least a half dozen, and the point I'm trying to make is that uh, there is no utilization, like... He came in as such an unsophisticated manager that he doesn't even have a good inventory of the assets that's already in Twitter's portfolio. He just came in with a blanket, let's fire 80% of the people and rebuild this thing in my image. Uh, he didn't need to buy. He didn't need to spend another $2 million on buying anything because he already had that IP. Yeah. And it was already native to Twitter. Maybe he just liked the guys because he remember Remember Clout? Oh, God. That was what that was. Cloud Social. Twitter bought Cloud? Yeah. Oh, that was a while ago. Like, like about five or six years ago, yeah. A lot of that tech's bad. It's old PHP, man. 
It doesn't matter. Well, anymore. it doesn't. It doesn't matter if the tech is bad. They've already it's, rewritten everything. It's Ruby on Rails. Nobody uses that anymore. <laughs> it was Twitter was written on. Anything it. over eighteen months doesn't count in software. You know that. Hey, thanks for watching the merge. We've got a ton more stuff for you to watch on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, everywhere. Check us out.